What's up guys? Welcome back to How to Tech. In this video today, we're going to be going over how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine. And we're going to be using um, VMware to help us do this. And uh, this is going to let you create a whole new, basically a computer, but it's going to sit in a virtual environment and you'll be able to use it um, while you're on your physical machine. Um, let's dig into it. So first thing I want to do, go to Chrome and I want to download my um, ISO file. Um, so I want to look up Windows Media Creation Tool. And this will hit uh, download the first or click on the first hit here on Google. I'm going to go down to download tool now. This is very important. You have to have an ISO of your operating system if you want to make a new computer virtual machine. You have to have something for it to um, load an operating system. And so Windows, Windows lets you download their media creation tool for free. And it, they even let you download um, the Windows operating system for free as an ISO file, a .iso file. Those files are the ones that you would burn a disk with back in the day, um, but now you can create USB uh, boot drives with them or just put them on your hard drive and double click on them and it mounts them to where you can get into it and check the files and all that. Um, so you need that file. You need the ISO file of a version of Windows and you can get it right from Microsoft. So you download this tool, let it get it self ready, um, accept the agreement. And then in a minute, it's going to ask me um, what I want to do here. And we'll go through that for just a second. And then I'll show you how to put that file into your virtual machine so that you can have a second machine from within your computer that you can do other things on. While this is getting ready, I just want to explain the need for this. This is, this is called VDI, this technology. And what it is, is it's another machine inside your machine, but it acts independently that you can do different things with as testing for um, maybe a different person to use or uh, to run a different service in a network. I mean, there's literally countless things that you can use these virtual machines for, and they do today, people and uh, companies. So, all right, what do I want to do? I don't want to upgrade this PC. I want to create some installation media. Um, Windows 10, that's what I want, English 64-bit. What kind of media do I want? I want the ISO file. I do not want to create a USB flash drive right now. Where do I want to save it? I'm going to put it in my downloads. There we go. So now it's going to download my ISO file. When it gets done, I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to create the virtual machine. Okay, guys, that finished. I went ahead and closed it. Um, I'm not actually going to be using that ISO file for my virtual machine. I have other ones that I'm going to use. and uh, But I just wanted to show you the way to get the Windows operating system downloaded onto your computer so that you can put it on your virtual machine. Okay, now, to actually create the virtual machine, there's a software that we're, that we're going to use called VMware Workstation Player. VMware Workstation Player. Now, you can go to Google and you can look this up. and you can download it right here and there it is player is free for personal use so you don't need to buy anything everything i'm showing you in this video is free um so download the player install it and then um here it is VMware Workstation 16 player. All right, so I already have a virtual machine on here, but we're creating one from scratch. So over on the right side, you click Create a New Virtual Machine. And now it wants you to tell it where is the ISO file? What installer image are you using? So you click Browse. In my case, my virtual my ISO file is going to be on a second hard drive that's on this machine under operating systems. 
Um, let's see here. Yeah. And I'm going to use Windows 10 RS5.12.18 ISO. You just pick your ISO file. All right, it's detected that this is Windows 10 64 bit. Click Next. Give it a name. I'm just going to give it that name and then with a test on the end of it. And then where do you want to put this virtual machine? This is important. You might want to put it on your local computer, uh, or you could even put it on a storage location that's connected to your computer. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a folder in my second hard drive called Virtual Machines, and I'm going to put it there. Next. Now, what size do you want this virtual machine to be? Uh, this is important. You have to make sure that you don't go above the size of the disk that you're saving this to. Now, my storage drive is like a terabyte, so I don't have to worry about that right now. But I'm just going to make it 40 gigs to make it a faster process. Um, they recommend 60 or higher for Windows 10, but I'm not going to do that. And then, how do you want to store it? You want to store it as a single file or multiple files? All right, it says that if you split it, it makes it easier to move it, uh, but it could reduce performance. I always do it as a single file because single file is always a lot faster. It runs faster. The virtual machine will perform better for you than with multiple files. Next. Um, okay, this is the uh, standard hardware that it sets you up with. Set you up with two gigabytes of memory. Uh, it uses two CPU cores if you have two available. And I just leave it at that. You can customize it if you want. Um, and you can always come back and customize it later too. So you don't have to worry about that right now. But I'm just going to leave it at that and click Finish. And now it's creating my virtual machine. All right, so it created the machine and it immediately tries to boot to it. Now, what I'm going to do is click this Maximize button to enter full screen mode. It's waiting for a connection, it says. What you have to do here is, when it first boots up, it's going to uh, ask you to boot from a CD or DVD. That's basically the ISO file. You have to um, push a button on your machine before it times out. Press any key. Oh, you can't see it there. Oh, it timed out. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, I'm out. Let me go back to full screen mode. And I'm going to go player, power, restart. Yes, I'm going to restart. And then I'm going to click inside it to make sure that my mouse and keyboard are active on it because I don't want to miss what's about to happen. There we go. Click, press any key to boot from the disk, and there it is. The disk is another word for saying the ISO file, the ISO. That's what it's booting to right now. So now it should go into Windows Setup. All right, yep, here we are, Windows Setup. Click Next. Click Install Now. You accept the agreement. Obviously, you have to accept everything, every time, everywhere. Custom installation. We're not upgrading. All right, when you go to custom, you'll see that's the virtual machine that I created. It's taking up 40 gigabytes of space. I'm going to, um, I could click next, but I just like to do new here and then apply. And what it does is it goes ahead and it, and it creates the partitions that it needs for Windows 10 and everything that it'll need for uh, finishing installing Windows. And then You'll see the final um, empty space drive right there, the primary one to install it on. It's 39.4 gigs, so that's good. Next. And now it's going to install Windows 10 on this virtual machine.
So guys, as this is finishing up, I just want to explain something about virtual machines here. Um, one of the big advantages is that it actually, having a virtual machine allows you not to have to go out and have extra hardware. Like a lot of companies, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll have virtual machines for certain things that used to take up a piece of hardware. Like for example, they'd have a DHCP server, they'd have a database server, they'd have a um, Active Directory server, and all these different things would be different pieces of hardware. And rather than doing that, now they have just a virtual machine for each one of those sitting all on the same computer. And so that one computer is doing the work of all five of those pieces of hardware in one because of virtualization. Now, you have to have a machine that has enough memory and CPU and disk space for you to be able to put a virtual machine on it because you're sharing uh, those resources with the virtual machine. So I gave this virtual machine two gigabytes of RAM. I have 12 on this computer, on this laptop. So that means 10 of them will only be available while this machine is being used. I gave it 40 gigabytes of my space. So 40 gigabytes will be allocated to this virtual machine all the time. It's going to virtualize two CPUs running at a certain speed while it's working. That's also going to eat up the system um, uh, processing bandwidth for this hardware that I'm using right now. So. You have to keep that in mind when you create a virtual machine that it will bog down the system, the main system, um, but you're creating a whole new machine that can uh, stand alone by itself at the same time. All right, now it's done and it says it's going to restart. I'll go ahead and manually do that. All right, booting back up. Now it should boot right into Windows. You shouldn't have to tell it to boot to the uh, disk anymore. All right, here we are. It looks like we're at the Windows setup screen now. Hi there. I'm Cortana, Hi, and I'm here Cortana. to help. Let's mute her. A little sign in here. You know how Cortana is. All right. We are English. We are in the United States. We are pass and go. We are collecting $200. So I'm just going through the basic Windows setup screen, just like you would on any computer now. We're using this for personal use. Offline account down in the bottom left. Limited experience in the bottom left. See, they want you to do a Microsoft account so bad. Who's going to be using this PC? Uh, a user. Give them a password? Nah, no password. You want Cortana as your assistant? Decline. I don't want activate, or I don't want active history. And I don't want any of these options turned on. Again, Microsoft and every other big company is going to get all the data that they want on you anyway. So I'm not going to opt into any of it. All right, here we are. Windows has now finished installing. Now let me just minimize this real quick. Right, it tells you when you've done, when you're finished installing, click the I finished installing. All right. So I just want you to take a look at this. So you see here on the outside is my laptop that I'm using. And then inside this window is a whole nother machine now. This is the virtual machine that I just built. Two different machines. Um, they can have two different network addresses, two different hard drive sets, two different everything. Totally separated. Two different registries, two different all kinds of stuff. Um, now, the reason why the screen is not expanding to full size is because I don't yet have VMware tools installed on this virtual machine. So 
So the resolution can only get, well, hold on, let's see. Let's see if it'll let me go ahead and make it 1920. Yep, sure enough. But I still need to install the VMware tools on it. There it is. It's it's extra big now, but I'm going to minimize it, and there it is. So it's sitting there, and you control it just like you would a normal uh, computer. So I'm going to go start, power, shut down. My virtual machine is shutting down, not my actual laptop. See that? There's the bar up there at the top, Windows, 60, Windows 10 64-bit test. And it shut down. Um, okay, just let me know that my webcam can be connected. So there you go. That is how you create a virtual machine of Windows 10 from within your computer using VMware Workstation Player for free. Um, just make sure you have a computer that's been manufactured in probably about the past 10 years or so and that it has virtualization capability on it and you should be good to go. All right, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, click like, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you do like it. If you like virtualization videos, if you want to see more about them and what it can do and maybe questions you'll have on it, and I will see you in the next one. This has been Adam with How to Tech.